থ্যাংক ইউ প্রফেসর ডক্টর বালাজি মনোহর স্যার দর্শক স্যার আমাদেরকে চমৎকার ভাবে জানালেন আঁকা বাঁকা দাঁতের চিকিৎসার কারণে মারির উপর কি কি প্রতিক্রিয়া হয় এবং বিভিন্ন প্রতিক্রিয়ার কথা আমাদের বলেছেন আমাদের হার হার হয়ে যাওয়ার একটা ব্যাপার জানিয়েছেন এবং সেই সাথে পিরোডন্টাল পকেট তৈরি হতে পারে এবং আমাদের দাঁত চলাকালীন সময় এবং সে কারণে আমাদের মারি ফুলে যাওয়া এবং আমাদের মারি থেকে রক্ত পড়া এ ধরনের সমস্যা হতে পারে আমি আমার পরবর্তী প্রশ্নের জন্য ডাক্তার বেনেট আলোয়াস ফার্নান্দে স্যার এর কাছে যাব স্যার গুড ইভিনিং হাওয়ার ইউ স্যার Good evening uh, and thank you to Raj TV and for this wonderful opportunity to share this uh, wonderful platform. And thank you again sir for joining us and I want to appreciate uh, for your valuable time that uh, you have given us in our show. Uh, sir, uh, uh, we want to learn from you uh, about the fact that if someone has gum disease, can he or she still uh, do uh, ortho? So to answer that question, he or she can definitely do ortho provided they have controlled the gum disease. Now, it is very important uh, in gum disease that the disease process is taken care of first and then only the orthodontic treatment is started. So the different procedures where the periodontists can help out has already been told by uh, Dr. Anupam Pozar and also the importance of what happens the changes has been told by dr balaji that it can be detrimental so now let us just suppose that uh, i am having to some extent some gum disease okay maybe simple just gingivitis maybe i started my treatment i'm still not doing the proper maintenance that is brushing properly taking care of my interdental spaces because sometimes when we think of orthodontic treatment and how we have to take care we think only we have to do the tooth brushing or maybe some mouth gargle rinsing no but it is little bit more i will explain later so in that if we are going to be doing this orthodontic treatment what is going to be happening already dr balaji explained that there is some amount of uh, destruction and some amount of this which takes place which is what is wanted because we want on one side the bone to be uh, destroyed and on the other side the bone and that's how the tooth will move but now in the scenario where this, because the gum disease is a type of an inflammatory disease, which causes the destruction of the bone again. So now in this process, suppose this gum disease already is present and now you are doing this tooth movement. So it is going to be accelerating this disease process. So it is not very favorable at all. So in fact, we need to maintain it well. So that is why actually we tell that in orthodontic patients, please brush your teeth after every meal, like three times a day. But otherwise, if non-ortho patients, we can always use the uh, twice a method of brushing, including, like I said, emphasizing on cleaning in between the teeth using either the floss or the interdental brushes, depending upon the spaces. And when we are doing this, uh, orthodontic treatment uh, with gum disease. Many a times, if gum disease starts, we need to maybe slow down the process, stop the movement there. We are not going to do further movement. Treat the gum disease, take care of that part properly. Okay, it may be simple bleeding gums, it may be real pocketing and all this bone defects which take place. Okay, so we're going to take that maybe and then later on continue with the orthodontic treatment. Thank you.